over the past few years, since the uh, well, it's the past few decades since the Reagan administration eviscerated uh, antitrust law. Those are the rules that prevented companies from getting too big, from buying their competitors, from concentrating power in the hands of a just uh, just a few uh, companies. Since that time, we've seen uh, the grocery industry consolidate. We now have four grocery stores that control 50 percent of sales and, in many areas, 70 to 90 percent of sales. Walmart is the very largest. One out of three grocery dollars is spent at Walmart. And if you look at um, the economic impact, the Walmart heirs have as much wealth as the bottom 40 percent of Americans. And what Walmart has figured out um, how they operate is that they have um, a logistical system that sucks all of the profit out of the food chain. So one thing is that they need enormous volume. So they would much rather deal with a giant meat packer like Tyson than a lot of smaller um, family farms or even mid-sized farms. They have a system where they force their uh, suppliers to use their IT system to track their own inventory, um, to um, use all of the uh, contracting requirements um, that they um, put into writing. In fact, there are no contract negotiations with Walmart. And so even the largest food processors in this country have to do whatever Walmart says. And we have 20 food processing companies that do control most of what Americans eat. So, you know, there's all this rhetoric about competition and that our economic system is built on competition. But what we've actually seen, uh, especially since the 1980s, is that all of the rules and regulations are geared at allowing uh, enormous consolidation.